Walking out of a car dealer. How to do it and how and why the power of the walk away strategy actually works. Negotiating with a car dealer can be intimidating, but one of the most powerful tactics you have at your disposal is your ability to walk away. Don't ever forget to use it if you're at the dealership and negotiations break down. While it may seem like a dramatic move, walking out sends a powerful message to the dealer and can often bring the best price back to the table. A no can do quickly turns into a yes we can. This strategy leverages psychology, scarcity, and the natural tendency of salespeople to avoid losing a potential sale after it was just in their hand. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy. If you've been following us for any length of time, you know we teach that in today's market, you should negotiate an OTD price, out the door price, from the comfort of home. Today's show is for those of you who still like to go to the dealership to hammer out the details because we know you folks are out there. In a moment, the amazing Elizabeth will join me to break down why this works so well and how to make things more relatable. Throughout this instructional video, we'll weave in a role play scenario between example buyer and example dealer. Let's open this discussion by examining the psychology behind walking away. Walking away taps into the psychological principle of scarcity. When you leave the negotiation, you're essentially telling the dealer that the sale isn't a sure thing. You're taking it off the table, forcing them to reassess their strategy if they want another shot. Salespeople are trained to sense the level of commitment from buyers, whether it's through words, time spent at the dealership, or even test drives. Walking away disrupts that flow and, ch and challenges their confidence in securing your business. Additionally, dealerships and their sales teams are under pressure to meet sales quotas both daily and monthly. Letting a customer leave the dealership hurts their chances of meeting those numbers. When you leave, the salesperson has to ask themselves a critical question. How many other customers will show up today? Can we afford to let this possible sale slip away? This pressure often works in the buyer's favor. Next up, a role play. Buyer versus dealer interaction. I will play the dealer while Liz plays the customer. Let's dive into a role play scenario where the buyer uses the walk away strategy to negotiate effectively. Liz, a prepared customer, has done her research. She knows the fair market value of the car she wants and has visited multiple dealerships. The car in this scenario, a 2024 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid, MSRP of $32,500. Liz knows from research that other buyers have been able to get this vehicle for around $30,500. So Liz, we've talked about the features, and I know that this RAV4 Hybrid is perfect for you. So how about we lock it in at $32,200? I think that's pretty fair. I've already cut some of the MSRP off for you. Well, thanks, Kevin, but I've done my research, and I'm seeing offers closer to 30500 at other dealerships. I expect you to match that, and to be clear, you will have to match it if you want to earn my business. Ah, that 30500 figure again. I can't say for sure what others are offering, but there are two things that I do know. Number one, those other dealers are a lot further away from you than we are. And secondly, I know that you won't find better service for your RAV4 than we have right here at our dealership. How about I meet you halfway, like at 31800 That's a fair deal, right? Well, I appreciate your effort, but I've set my budget, and I'm not here to play any games. I don't want to go over 30500 which is my target. You've got to understand, Liz, we're giving you a great vehicle and unbeatable service to top it off. 31800 is really the best that we can do today. I get that, Kevin, but if that's where we are, I'm going to need more time to think things over. I'm going to head out and check on some of those other options. Wait, wait, what would it take for us to get this done today? Honestly, it has to be 30500 or I just need to keep shopping. I don't want to waste your time. Thank you. At this moment, Liz begins to walk towards the exit. The dealer watches her, realizing that she's serious about leaving. Panic starts to set in because it's been a slow day at the dealership. Liz, hold on just a second. I just got a message from my manager, and he said that we can get you that RAV4 for 30600 That's only $100 away from your goal. How about we meet there? Well, Kevin, that's close, but I did say 30500 I'm not trying to be difficult. It's just where I need to be. <sighs> All right, Liz. Let's do it. Let's make it 30500 just for you. Thanks, Kevin. I knew sooner or later you'd come to your senses, and I thought we could work something out. <clears throat> 30500 it is. Thanks. Now let's talk about why walking away works in Liz's favor. This walk away tactic creates several advantages for the buyer. 
Let's examine those. Number one, it shifts power. Walking out takes the power away from the dealer. Initially, the dealer had the upper hand, trying to make Liz feel like she needed to buy the car on their terms. By leaving, Liz takes control of the negotiation. Secondly, it triggers a loss response. Salespeople are trained to close deals and move on to the next customer. Watching Liz walk away forces the dealer to respond to the fear of losing the sale altogether. Many dealers would rather give up the extra profit they had in mind on this deal rather than risk losing the entire deal. Third, it signals seriousness. Liz's willingness to walk out shows she is not just bluffing. This credibility makes it more likely for the dealer to reconsider the price. And number four, it establishes patience. Walking out signals the buyer is patient enough to shop elsewhere and not so desperate that they have to close the wrong deal that day. Let's talk about how this outcome was achieved. In this scenario, the walkout strategy secured Elizabeth's target price. Walking out created urgency for the dealer, leading him to take one last shot at closing the sale by meeting her offer. Notice how Liz remained polite, respectful, and patient throughout the process. Walking out is not about being rude or aggressive. It's about making sure that the dealer knows that you, as the buyer, have other options and you're not afraid to explore them. Here are some additional tips for walking away successfully. First, do your homework. Know the fair market value of the car you're interested in. You can use websites like Kelly Blue Book and Edmunds to determine what that estimate would be and what others are paying for a similar vehicle. Secondly, stay calm and professional. Walking out only works when it's done calmly. If you storm out angrily, the dealer may assume you're not coming back and just move on. Yep. A calm exit leaves the door open for further negotiations. Number three, be prepared to actually leave. The strategy only works if you're genuinely willing to walk out the door. If the dealer senses you're bluffing, they won't feel the pressure to lower the price. And number four, give yourself options. Visit multiple dealerships so you're not reliant on just one offer. Yes. The more options you have, the more confidence you'll have in walking out. Number five, you can also use silence to your advantage. After expressing your offer, pause and let the dealer speak next. If they think you're on the verge of leaving, the silence can work in your favor, pushing them to offer a better deal. In conclusion, walking out of a dealership can be a highly effective negotiation strategy when done correctly. It shifts the power dynamic, creates urgency, and shows the dealer you are serious about getting the best deal. As demonstrated in Elizabeth's roleplay, the walkaway strategy forces the dealer to reconsider their stance, often resulting in better terms for the buyer. Remember, negotiation is more of an art than it is a battle. Walking away doesn't have to be confrontational. It's simply a strategic move to remind the dealer that you are a knowledgeable buyer with other options. And also remember what we said recently about bringing a little of that winning attitude with you. Be determined that you will not be bested in this game of back and forth. Remember, the key to successful negotiation is preparation, patience, and professionalism. If you master this strategy, you'll be far more likely to drive away in your desired car at the best possible OTD out the door price. And speaking of OTD pricing and succeeding with that focus, this is exactly how our car coaches are winning at both new and used car dealers all over the U.S. And they do use the walkaway strategy, but a bit differently. Since the entire deal is negotiated remotely, the dealer is warned ahead of time that if anything changes when the buyer arrives at the dealership, our viewer, the buyer will walk and the deal will be lost. So far, knock on wood, the walkaway warning has kept our negotiated deals matching up with the buyer's expectations a majority of the time. There are very few instances where our buyer actually had to walk away. If that happened, in most cases, our coach decided not to permit second chances and moved on to a new dealer. For those of you who want to buy a new or used vehicle and you want to avoid the hassle of dealing with car dealerships, reach out to us and ask for our direct help. On our website, thehomeworkguy.com, you can find a detailed write-up on our hassle-free car buying service. It's on the right side of the pull-down menu. Not only does it make life very easy for you, but our service leads the industry with the best ROI average. That's return on investment for those of you who didn't know. You should also be aware that when you use our hassle-free car buying service, either Liz or I will personally take every intake call. You get to talk directly to us, and we are the only show host on YouTube that offer this level of personalized service. Thanks to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. And if you want our direct help in your car deal and have difficulty navigating our website, you can simply text me at 701-441-3399 and I'll steer you in the right direction. 
I hope you enjoyed our walkaway role play video today. If so, give us a like and remember to subscribe for notifications. To all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, home of the only totally hassle free car buying service, signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and the entire hassle free homework guy team. Thanks for listening. <laughs>